O oh friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question. Ashish studies for 4 hours, 5 hours and 3 hours respectively on 3 consecutive days. How many hours does he study daily on an average? Let us understand the question. On day 1, Ashish studies for 4 hours. On day 2, he studies 5 hours. And on day 3, he studies for 3 hours. We are asked to find the average of the number of hours he studies. So actually we have to calculate arithmetic mean. Let us put in the formula. Sum of all the observations would mean 4 plus 5 plus 3 whole divided by number of observations is 3. So we get 12 by 3 hours that would mean 4 hours. Thus our answer would be that Ashish studies for 4 hours daily on an average. Let us read the question. A batsman scored the following number of runs in 6 innings. Calculate the mean runs scored by him in an inning. We know that mean is equal to sum of all the observations by number of observations. So, the numerator will be sum of all the observations and the denominator will be number of observations that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, denominator will be 6. Let us solve this further. On adding, we get 282 whole divided by 6, which is equal to 47. And finally, we can write that the mean run scored in an inning are 47. Let us now understand what is the range of the data. The difference between the highest and the lowest observation gives us the idea of the spread of the observation. This can be found by subtracting the lowest observation from the highest observation and we call the result the range of the observations. For example, let us consider this data. The lowest observation in this data is 35 while the highest observation is 100. So range can be calculated as highest observation minus the lowest observation which gives us 65 as the range of the observations. That is range is equal to highest observation minus the lowest observation. Let us read the question. The ages and years of 10 teachers of a school are given. First part is what is the age of the oldest teacher and that of the youngest teacher. To find the age of the youngest and the oldest teacher, let us rearrange this data in ascending order. So, the entry would be 23, 26, 28, 32, 33, 35, 38, 40, 
41 and 54. After arranging the data, it is very easy to answer our question. We can say that age of the youngest teacher is 23 years while the age of the oldest teacher is 54 years. Now the second part of the same question is what is the range of the ages of the teachers? So simply range of ages will be the maximum or the highest age minus the lowest age which will be equal to 31 years. Third part of the same question is to find the mean age of all these teachers. So, mean age would be equal to sum of all the observations divide by the number of observations which is equal to 350 by 10 that is equal to 35 years.